everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm well aware I haven't posted a YouTube video in kind of a long time. Basically just the entire of lockdown I've just not been posting. Simply because my channel is mainly focused around me trying to lose weight. And for lockdown I've really not been that great with like my eating and things. I feel like a lot of people are probably in the same boat. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it too much. But yeah I haven't been like perfectly eating. Um, the last couple of weeks I've sort of got back into Slimming Worlds and I've lost back some of the weight that I gained, but inevitably I've gained some weight back, which is really annoying, but this is where we are, that's life. <laughs> so yeah, I figured I'm currently furloughed from work for three weeks starting today, so the rest of the lockdown I've been working, I've been quite busy to be honest doing like extra shifts and things, um, so now I've got three weeks off and I'm going to use this three weeks to try and focus on what I'm eating and exercising and try and shift a bit of weight again and like kickstart my um, weight loss journey. I say kickstart, I'm still on the same weight loss journey, like haven't rejoined Slimming World or anything. So for my meals, I'm still going to be trying to eat mainly Slimming World foods. I will some days have like a few treats thrown in just because it's locked down and can't be too strict on myself because then I will have nothing to do. But yeah, I figured um, I would try and catch up on some more exercise. Like if three weeks off isn't the time to do that, then I don't know when it is. Um, so yeah, I was watching YouTube the other day and Emily Cannon uploaded a video where she did the Chloe Ting two week shred, obviously for the two weeks. And then she showed like her results before and after. And honestly, it looked like it worked amazing on her. Like she was so shredded afterwards. It was incredible obviously i'm not expecting the same results emily canham is a lot lot slimmer than me but i have seen a few more videos on youtube when i typed it in after and quite a lot of people have done this challenge so i figured i'd give it a go for someone who is a bit bigger or plus size and see what sort of results i can get so i actually came across a different challenge which was uploaded this month onto the website and it's actually the four week summer shred and i figured i've got three weeks off work to try and like get myself into this and then the extra week when I'm back at work, I'm just going to try and carry on. So I feel I would do this. Obviously, I'm, this is a really long intro, so I do apologise. So how I'm going to do it is I'm thinking I'm going to incorporate my what I eat in a day with the exercise. I'm not sure I to do like a day, upload each day separately or to do like a few days in a row. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I figured I probably wouldn't stick to it as much if I wasn't uploading it. And put it out on the internet for people to shame me when I don't have to go ahead with it. So what better way to upload it to my YouTube channel to get me back into uploading because I have missed it. I just honestly haven't had time. Um, yeah, so get me back into uploading and to hopefully help me lose some weight. So I'm going to take some before and after pictures. I'm going to weigh myself now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to still be doing my weekly weigh into Slimming World. So at the moment we're doing like online Zoom chats for Slimming World, which is still working fine. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I'll weigh myself every Wednesday, which I'll probably include in the videos. And yeah, I'm just going to show you my four weeks progress and how much weight I can lose in four weeks doing this four weeks on my shred and see what like differences it makes to my body. So the key things I'm going to be doing is obviously the exercises, which is on a playlist. If you just type in Chloe Ting um, on Google, you can just bring up all the playlists and I'll leave a link below. Um, so I'm going to be doing these every day. I'm going to be doing my Slimming World healthy eating mostly. I'm not going to be really, really strict on it. I have made a cake yesterday and that's sat in the fridge. So I'll probably have a slice of that today. But yeah, I'm also going to be trying to drink a lot, lot more water. So here's to day one and let's see how well I can do. So before I have my breakfast, I'm just going to be having a glass of water. Um, just to try and fill me up a bit so that I'm not eating more food than I should be. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a glass of water now and then I'm gonna be having some porridge for my breakfast. This is what I'm having for my breakfast. I've got 40 grams of jumbo porridge oats with one of my healthy extra A's for milk. I use skimmed milk. So I think there's about 300 mils in there, but I'm gonna count as one of my healthy extra A's. And then I've been absolutely loving this at the moment, which is just caramel syrup. Um, it's only 13 calories per teaspoon if you're into calorie counting. This is plant-based as well. So I believe, yeah, this is vegan. Um, but yeah, this stuff tastes absolutely incredible and it just changes up everything. If you've tried iced coffee where you make it yourself, if you put this in, honestly, it tastes just like frappuccino from Starbucks. And yeah, I'm just having this. I'm gonna put a drizzle of this in for one sin's worth, I think. So that'll be one sin total for my breakfast. And then I'm just having a black coffee with no milk or sweetener in there. So yeah, this is my breakfast and I'm going to go and eat this now. So I'm just about to do day one of the exercise. 
um, and it's actually five videos but three of them are optional so I think I'm just going to start and see how many I can actually get through before I die um, but the first one is the warm up routine and then you do full body shred and shredded abs the full body shred and the shredded abs are the two compulsory ones and then there's two other videos at the end which are optional which is a back and arm workout and then a cool down so like I say I'm just going to see how many of the videos I can get through before I run out of energy and physically can't do any more but yeah this is day one of the four weeks on my shred I've also just got my bottle of water here which holds 600 mils and um, so I'm hoping this is going to last me because I tend to drink loads when I'm working out but if not I'll just have to go fill it up between videos. So I've just done the warm up which was about six minutes. So I'm just gonna have a drink and then move on to the next video. Honestly, I don't know if I'll make it for the whole five, but we'll give it a go. So the next video we're doing is the full body shred, which looks like it's gonna be really, really hard, but here's trying. <laughs> So that's the second lot of exercises done. As you can see, I am really, really, really red. It really gets you working. The annoying part is I forgot to set my watch as if I was doing exercise. So I'm hoping it's tracked most of that, but I'm just gonna go fill up my bottle because I drank way too much water and then move on to the next one, which is shredded abs. Hoping this isn't gonna be as hard as it sounds, but it probably will be. So I'm nearly dead, but we've just got the back and arm workout left and the cool down. So I'm going to try and push through for the back and arm workout. And then I'm really looking forward to the cool down because I need it. So that was the last of the actual exercises done. That one was really hard. I literally, I don't think I did half of the exercises. Like I tried, I just couldn't physically do them. So I had a lot of breaks, which you could probably see. 
Um, but we're literally just going to do the cool down now and then I'm going to go make my dinner. <sighs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> day one of the four week summer shred done um, that was harder than I was expecting I mean it wasn't it wasn't like I was expecting it to be really hard but I was also expecting that to be able to actually do more of it but I've tried my best and I am absolutely exhausted 616 active calories today so most of that is just from these exercises I've just done so that is a lot um yeah I'm gonna go make my dinner now I think I'm gonna have some boiled eggs or something um I'm exhausted one down, 13 to go. So here's today's dinner. I'm just having an omelette. I fried off some red onion, some tomatoes and some peppers. And then I've just obviously added in the egg and just fried that in fryer light to make the omelette. Haven't put any cheese on this just because I want to use the cheese later on for my tea. Um, so yeah, this is completely sin free. Um, so yeah, my sin total for the day is still one sin at the moment. So it's probably about an hour later now and I am absolutely exhausted from day one of the exercises. I don't know what it is, but I'm already aching. So Josh has just nipped to the shop to get ingredients for tea and I'm just gonna have a bath and yeah, I think I'm just gonna like relax and probably get into some pajamas. And then I will be in my pajamas for the foreseeable, for the foreseeable, dramatic. I'll be in my pajamas for the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna have a bath, have my tea, and then we will probably chill out and watch TV. So I've had my bath now. I did also wanna say that I have had a slice of this cake. Um, I'm not actually sure how many sins it would be. I did make this myself, hence it looks a bit rough, but tastes really good. It's a lotus, bisc lotus biscoff cake. So I've had a slice of this. I only had a thin slice, but I'm not sure how many sins. So I'm just going to count that. It's the rest of my daily sins for the day. So I'm not going to be having any more sins. And my main meal for tea is going to be sin free. So this is what I'm having for tea today. I've just got some shepherd's pie, which is completely sin free with some cabbage and some broccoli for speed food on the side there. And yeah, this is probably going to be the last thing I eat because like I said, I used a slice of cake for pretty much all of my sins. So I'm going to eat this now and we're just going to pick something to watch on the TV. So I think I'm just going to end the video here because that's the last thing I'm going to be eating today. Like I said, I did have the slice of cake, so that's pretty much all of my sins, if not probably more of my sins gone. Um, but I did a, I did burn off quite a lot of calories today. I'll put like a picture of my activity screen here or something from my watch. Um, but yeah, I've met my move goal and I've met my daily exercise goal I think I think I know I have and um, the one I'm still working towards is a stand I managed to drink two full bottles of the water today plus the glass I had with my breakfast so I'm gonna try and drink a little bit more water I've got a really bad headache and I'm not, not really sure why and also I'm feeling absolutely exhausted um I don't think it's anything to do with the exercise but we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow like I said earlier my legs have already started to ache so that's a great sign when I've got um <laughs> two more weeks of this to go no I'm lying four more weeks of this to go this is just day one and um, so yeah I'll see you guys for day two I'm not sure if I'll be doing day two as one video or doing like day two three and four together um I'll probably decide depending how much footage I get each day and um, plus I don't want to bore you with like two weeks worth of just non-stop the same video unless that's what you guys want if you leave down below if you'd rather me do them uh, one at a time or bunch them together that'd be great <laughs> anyway i'm going to stop rambling now and i'm going to go so make sure to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see the rest of these or if you want to see more videos from me and i will see you guys next time Bye.